next one came by herself uh, is Lisa. <laughs> Welcome, yeah. Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, tell me when you are ready. Um, what? Are you ready? Yeah. Um, okay, sure. start. Okay, good evening. My name is Lisa Johansson. I will be talking about the solution to a mathematical problem. Um, and this problem is about two ramps, that one is diagonal and one is curved. And there are two balls that will be dropped. And the question is, which ball will reach the ending point first? What do you think? Well, let me help you out. I have the solution right here, and it's called the Brachistochrone problem. It was given to scientists years ago to be solved, and some have done it, such as in Johann Bernoulli and Isaac Newton. I'll be talking about the Newton solution. Now, the time to travel from a p point P1 to another point P2 is given by the integral. T12 equals to ds divided by v, where s is the arc length and v is the speed. Now remember that the speed at any point is given by a simple application of conservation of energy equating kinetic energy to gravitational potential energy, giving us that V equals to the root of 2GY. Now, to continue, we'll plug this into together with the identity dS equals to the root of dx squared plus dy squared equals to the root of 1 plus y squared dx. This will be then simplified, and the function to be varied is thus f equals to 1 plus y square and a half times 2gy square, 2g square minus, sorry. Now, to continue, one would have to use the euler lagrange differential equation. And however, the function is particularly nice since AS, AF divided by AX is equal to 0. This we get because there's no, not so many Xs that come into the equation. And we can immediately proceed to the Beltrami identity. F equals 2y times AF divided by AY equals to C. Computing AF divided by AY equals 2y times 1 plus y squared and minus half times 2gy squared minus half. Subtracting y from F and simplifying then gives us an equation of 1 divided by the root of 2gy times the root of 1 plus y squared equals to C. Now. We square both sides and rearrange slightly results in where the square of the old constant c has been expressed in terms of a new positive, k square. The equations are solved by the parametric equations, giving us that x equals to 1 and a half k square times 0 minus sin is 0, while y equals to 1 and a half k squared times 1 minus cos 0. So those of you who guessed that both balls will reach the ending point at the same time, is right, or all right. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Comments? Yes. Um, I think it's very good that you start with a question in order to create interest. That's a good thing to do. And you give us also an agenda, and you have these clear things, and you have a clear voice, and that is very good. Try to slow down a little bit yeah. and try not to focus on too many formulas uh, because then you have to wrap it up in the end and uh, try more to give us the meaning of them yeah. more than just to explain the formulas. But it was very good. Thanks. Thank you. Elizabeth, yeah. comments? Oh, Michael yeah, wants yes. to see. Okay. I want to ask a little bit on the mathematical side. You said that if you have a straight line and the curve, Right? Yeah, diagonal. Yes, a diagonal, and yes, and the curve. They will reach the same time? Or what was it that you say? Yeah, they will be reached the same time because, you know, they're dropped from the same height. So they will eventually reach the same point. But it's not Sh true. Sh yes, yeah, showed by the equations, it is. No. Why do you call it brachistochron then? Brachistochron means the shortest time. So which is the curve that gets the shortest yeah. time if they get the same time? Yeah, because it's, um, this shows um, the equation of a cycloid. And mm. it is, we can say that a cycloid is rolling down this hill. No, I'll tell you the correct result. The shortest time is the, is the cycloid. It's the shortest. It's shorter than the straight line. But what you are perhaps uh, mixing is that on the cycloid, if you drop from two different points a, uh, a ball, it will reach at the same time. 
is not on different curves that it goes in different same time, but on this one curve. Okay, so there you should adjust. But otherwise, you had good mathematics. It was difficult mathematics, admittedly. And uh, Newton actually impressed mathematical society at that time with this solution. Okay, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay.